So now we have our interface that if we flip it portrait mode, we'll see that it has a disclaimer fragment over here and the BMI fragment over here, the main fragment. So now I'm going to make it a little bit more object-oriented friendly. Um, the way I'm going to do this is the following. Here's the problem with this, one of the problems, right? One problem is that I'd rely on this parent activity being a BMI calc activity. If I want to attach this fragment to any other activity, I'll have to come and change this bit of code. So to alleviate that, I'm going to create a new interface. For that, I'm going to go new Java class. I'll call string value interface. I'm just going to make that, make that name up. And I'm going to create this interface that has two methods, a setter with set string value. Oh, I'll just have a setter. I'll just have a setter, right? So string value. It's a small interface. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have the BMI fragment do the following. I'm going to do activity, Android app, right? So that's my activity. I'm just going to have an activity. A equals get activity. So here I, whoops, get activity. There you go. Now, if a instance of, if a is an instance of string value, okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a um, string value bca equals string value a. So that activity, I'm going to cast it to a string value and I'm going to put it in BCA and I will do BCA set, set, set string value BMI. Okay. Now here, rem look at this. Now I don't depend on what kind of activity, but the activity has to, the activity that I'm using has to implement the string value interface. So we're going to go here to this activity and we're going to have going to put implements string value, implements the string interface. And this set BMI method, I'm just going to call it set string value. Now my interface is complete. This BMI calc activity implements an interface. This fragment talks to an interface. So if I ever want to attach to this fragment to some other activity, all I have to do is in that activity implement the uh, string value interface and everything will work. It's a lot less messy, much more object-oriented friendly.